I hate feeling this nervous and being so tight. I feel like this is the tightest I've been since like 2012. I think he's slow playing me. My normal game is definitely to serve bigger, to hit big forehands and try and take control of the point. But uh, apparently today I'm gonna push like a little girl. I know some girls hit some pretty big <laughs> balls yeah, that balls may take way, offense to yeah, that. The ball way harder than I do today. It's very frustrating. Ah. It feels like such a wasted opportunity. I wish I could go back and play the game again. First point of that game was so easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, like I, was, I was just like, let's just rally the ball. Let's just rally the ball. In my effort, my energy level, that was like the biggest, the, the biggest thing ever. Uh, it was super big. Yeah. I think now um, it's interesting. That last point it may have took a lot out of you. I'm curious how oh, much it took out of him. I love it. Yeah, he's, so, he's feeling it for sure. Really press him here because I think. You know, this is a big momentum switch now. This is another For switch sure. right here. For sure. And this is like... If I can a, really make him play here, it would be a, yeah, a yeah. great and game to I think, make him make a lot of shots. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm extremely frustrated. Double break point there. Honestly, just loss of focus. I feel like I'm actually starting to, uh, to relax a little bit and start to move the ball better. So I feel good about where the match is headed, but man, I'd love to be serving at 4-2, not 3-all right now. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're looking forward. Total focus here. Everything we got right here in this game. Yep. All right, All right guys, wish me luck. All right. This is the moments that we live for. You know, the back and forth, the, the struggle. Uh, so, so here, I, I like our chances because Scott's a fighter. Feels like such a wasted game, <laughs> such a wasted opportunity. Yeah. And in, in hindsight, I regret doing, going to the chip and charge. I don't actually. No. It it showed me something. He's he's a. He doesn't a mind a target. You don't he think? doesn't he doesn't mind a target no. on the ball where he's set up. No. If he's moving, he's gonna just uh, throw it up. So this for me completely confirms his game style. Yeah. Like he stepped he in. Totally comfortable. Totally yeah. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And so for me, that's a positive because I know he's not. I mean, if you start coming in a lot you better be ready for something to come back unless yeah. you really challenge him. All right, the, the statement game, that's what we needed coming Best out. Case scenario. Yeah, letting him know, letting, letting Ian know that he is here to fight and he's not going anywhere. And, and Ian went back to kind of jumping a little bit on that forehand, not keeping his chin down and floating some balls. Pressure's on now. I think if I, uh, if I can put a lot of balls and play this game and start to work the point, I think all the pressure's on him at this point. I'm starting to feel a lot more relaxed.
seizing the opportunities, but build, Good build risks. the point. Yeah. Build the point, cook the chicken, yeah. keep him moving around. But definitely he's playing a little bit off balance and you're serving well. Yeah. So I think he knows that if he gets broken, this is probably gonna be the set. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. So get to work here, we'll put our put our worker hat on and, and it's time to make him figure out how to win this particular game. Scott and I are loving this match. We're battling it out. If you need a practice partner or some competitive practice back at home, Scott's got an amazing website. It's the best way to find somebody that's perfect for you. Go to playyourcourt.com right now and find somebody right away. My first thought stepping up to the line was like, ah, oh, if I get broken, he's gonna serve for the set. <laughs> After I called 4 3. I mean, you know, this is, these are the things that just pop in your head. Okay. Um, I didn't think about it all after that. I just just in, I just want to let people know, like, that happened. No. Oh, okay. I held it low. Good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I think now is one of those games that uh, really important. Um, yeah. Making a return. Every return. Is Every good. Yeah, return. Even if it's weak, I, yeah. I just got to make him hit a lot of balls this game. Well, that didn't go uh, as well as I would have liked. Planned, yeah. So Ian answers back. Ian strikes back. Right. I mean, like a solid service game. On those returns, you got to go to it. You're waiting. Yeah. You're waiting He's for putting that putting a lot of balls in play. Yeah. Serves coming in pretty big. Got mm -hmm. some weird lefty action on there. Um, just got to get back to it here. Strategy hasn't changed at all. I just got to do better uh, on his return games. But right now, for all time to hold in the trenches, man. All right, let's go get him. Pretty good, fairly good game. That was the first shift from him. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time I felt any kind of consistent, like, oh, okay, uh, pressure or weight yeah. uh, from him. So I feel like he's he's definitely turning the, the knob up just a little bit. Uh, I think I, just turning it right back around, you coming out, solid serve. Um, no. I don't think it has to be any bigger. I just think it has to be um, lefty. And if you you have the opportunity to attack, um, be careful with the corners. Yeah, guys, nerves, nerves froze my feet in that game. And I finally said to myself, there at 30, 40, look, you gotta swing it out. It's the only way to shake the nerves. So when you saw that last three points, big serve out wide. I can't ask for a better, a better situation. Probably like 115, 120 out wide. And then now I'm back to deuce. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. That's the theme, like this next game, let's get this break, but like the be staying aggressive with your feet, get to the ball, Moving don't let the ball return. Look for the apex, hit the ball at the top and keep moving. Feeling good about where we are now, let's, uh, let's see if I can Bring close this out. Uh, yeah. I know I'm on the wrong channel to ask for support, but uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Oh. 
All right. Match, guys. That's called wasting an hour's worth of work in 45 seconds. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's just really disappointing. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could go back and play the game again. It looks a little like you just somehow lost focus. It was like some really casual. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. Yeah, yeah, it was just some weird forehands. I haven't. You haven't. feel bad or off. Like, no. it just, they're just misses. No. It was just really weird and all long, all. Yeah. The last one was t was tight. Like oh. I just like got the yips on the last one. The first three just I, yeah. Sorry, I just just missed. <laughs> All right, guys. So very pleased with the outcome there. Finally did exactly what Coach Nate's been talking about. Moved in. I was attacking the ball, following through. Great time to finally relax and, and settle my nerves and, and step in and hit the ball. I gotta tell you guys, man, nerves with a match like this where the pressure's on and we know everybody in the tennis world's gonna see it is at an all-time high, so don't be too hard on us. And now I'm gonna get all these comments like, oh, you're a 3-5. <laughs> um, no, I'm just a really, really nervous 5-0. So for your rec players, this hopefully provides some reassurance that, hey man, this happens to, this everybody. Happens to everybody. You know, X Division One college tennis players, touring coaches, Federer's nervous yeah. out there too. Like, yeah. guys, I hope this stuff helped. Again, um, be easy on us, man. It's, it's, it's nerve wracking playing on camera. Hopefully you guys upload some of your own videos on YouTube and feel the pressure that, uh, that Ian and I feel out here. And Ian, you're still my dude, man. Uh, and thanks for letting me beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Got to playing some ping pong a couple nights ago. A little trash talk started flying. So Nate and I are now gonna battle Kevin and Ian in some doves. Dude, I can't wait for doubles. I don't think they know I'm a way better doubles player than singles player. I'm on the 9-10 scale of aggressiveness for doubles. I get sometimes over aggressive. 